everyone welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be guiding you in gathering quality artifacts for the english sba if you want to learn about this then do keep on watching The words artifact, data, and stimuli are used synonymously, so don't get confused if you see these words being used. They all mean the same thing. Now, what are artifacts as it relates to your English SBA? Artifacts are the materials that will form the basis for the reflections. You are required to research your individual topics and acquire three appropriate artifacts in relation to your personal topics. It is important that you assist each other in determining the appropriateness of the artifacts within the groups. Each person within the group is required to have their own unique artifacts and also you need to ensure that the artifacts are from credible sources. Since the artifacts are crucial in completing the SBA, it is crucial that you select artifacts that you can relate to and also you're able to analyze them effectively. Your three artifacts can be chosen from the following. Advertisements, brochures, cartoon strips, poems, diaries, plays, newspaper articles, reports, short stories, pamphlets, posters, videos, and speeches. One of your artifacts must be in print. This therefore means that you can have three print pieces or you can have one print, one video, and an audio, or you can have one print and two videos or one print and two audios. So just ensure that you have one that is print. Now I'll provide you with some examples of artifacts that you can use in your SBA. Hey there, kiddo. Back again? That's a nasty case of gang violence you got there. Have they been using you as a lookout again? Well, don't you worry. Take a drop of this on a cube of sugar, and it'll keep you safe, okay? And if anyone says otherwise, send them to me. Remember, take one drop on a cube of sugar. It worked for Teddy. Your dignity is tied to every other human being on Earth. When millions of us struggle to survive, human energy is diminished. When so many of us are still hungry, human potential is suffocated. Poverty has many forms, but no borders. To become fully human, 
we must free ourselves from the tyranny of poverty and from the grip of hunger everywhere. As we end poverty, true prosperity begins. As we end hunger, we all start to flourish. We have the ability, means, and capacity to create a world where all humans have dignity and our potential is fully realized. This is the story you are shaping. A number of politicians on the campaign trail have contracted the virus, the latest being from the Building Your Jamaica Party. General Secretary Julian Robinson in a statement confirms that he tested positive, this after receiving a negative result from the Ministry of Health and Wellness, which prompted him to do another test. Meanwhile, in an aim to bolster the country's response to the virus, Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton announced that 121 medical officers who were facing unemployment will be employed. We have gotten the go-ahead to engage these persons, and I am told now that we will have contracts effective the 1st of September. Uh, to engage these 121 medical officers. A lot of conversation now surrounds the capacity of the hospitals to manage the influx of patients. COVID-19 wards at the University Hospital of the West Indies in St. Andrew and the Princess Margaret Hospital in St. Thomas are both full to capacity. Even though the ward is at capacity, what we plan to do is to move elective or non-COVID patients out to expand our COVID wards. So the COVID ward can hold a maximum of 17 patients at present, but we had already retrofitted an, another ward area at the university to manage COVID patients. And so we'll activate those areas. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Jacqueline Bessesa McKenzie says Jamaica has entered a new phase of the pandemic. We've entered into a new phase. And, and this is a phase that is going to affect our hospitals at the, more than it has over the last couple of months. Robian Williams for CVM Live.